In this video I'm heading into the woods to shoot with and to give my first impressions of the brand new Fujifilm GFX 100S. All right, so I've been given the uh, GFX 100S for a couple of days, uh, very kindly by C uh, Clifton Cameras and uh, Fujifilm to produce a couple of blog posts for, uh, for Clifton Cameras. So my plan over the next couple of days is to get out and um, basically take as many images in different styles as I can to show off what this camera can do. But uh, I also thought while I've got it, I will film a couple of videos and uh, in this video, like I said in the beginning, the plan is to uh, walk around the local woods and uh, just see what I can find in terms of uh, images, in terms of compositions. I was gonna go and shoot sunset, but we're not gonna get that today. The weather's been atrocious, it's absolutely hacking it down. Uh, I've just found a little spot in the weather where I can get out. And I'm not, you know, a woodland photographer by any stretch of the imagination, but, um, I'm gonna see what I can find. I think what I'm gonna do is try and pick out details, textures, things like that, that will really show off the resolution of this camera. Yeah, so uh, in this video then, I'm gonna head into the woods, uh, find some compositions, and uh, see what I can get. An hour later. All right, so I've been walking around the woods for about an hour now, and um, haven't really found too much. The main problem I've ran into is, um, because we're in the middle of winter, there's like no canopy, meaning even though it's an overcast day, there's a lot of light coming in and it's really hard to find a kind of, uh, I guess, interesting moody piece of light to isolate a subject. So that's quite hard. Um, so everything's dead. So I took off the, um, the wide angle zoom and just whacked on the 110 mil and apologies if the audio is bad. I've, I'm shooting on the GoPro today just because uh, the weather's pretty, sh pretty rubbish. <laughs> um, but what I'm doing now is I whacked 110 mil on, found my first composition. Um, I'm just going for detail shots. So I found this kind of a um, little bit of moss here on the uh, on this kind of dead tree. Yeah, looks really good. First shot in the bag. Um, so now I'm trying, I'm still trying to get warmed up. I'm gonna carry on trying to find some interesting textures. And yeah, like I said, I'm not a woodland photographer by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm gonna do my best to get some more interesting images. So uh, let's crack on. All right, so my next composition, um, basically, I found these trees here. So you got this one tree, you got this kind of tree going up in a V, and then in the background you've got another one. Now it's kind of forming a composition where it gets deeper and deeper. I've shot at F8, so the, um, and I focused on this kind of strip of bark that's not being covered by the moss, and um, that's super sharp. Then you've got the next tree forming the V that kind of falls off a little bit. And then in the background, you've got the other tree that kind of melts away. Um, again, basic composition, nothing too special. Um, but this is really picking up a lot of resolution in that kind of moss and on that, that uh, exposed bit of uh, bark. First impressions, this camera's a, a beast and um, I'm gonna talk about it in more detail in the blog post for Clifton and I'm gonna do my own review video at the end. So a more in-depth review, but first impressions is, yeah, it's an absolute beast. It's almost like the X-T4 has jumped onto steroids, got a little bit fatter and added that top screen that the uh, X-H1 had. But uh, yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing piece of kit that they've, they've managed to house that um, 102 megapixel sensor in a body that isn't much bigger than the X-T4. So yeah, first impressions, um, enjoying using it. And I'm a Fujifilm user, so navigating around it is pretty simple. But uh, if you're new to Fujifilm, this is your first Fujifilm camera. It's very easy to, uh, to, to get in there and get going. So uh, 
yeah, let's go and find some more images. All right, I've been wandering around the woods now for a couple of hours. Um, if I'm honest, I have no idea where I am. <laughs> but um, just taking a, a couple of shots. Uh, didn't want to narrate every single shot I was doing. Um, you get the idea, I'm basically taking um, just shots of various textures that I'm finding. Um, kind of happy with them. Again, I'm not a woodland photographer, so I'm not super excited about these kind of shots. Um, but I'm very impressed so far with the amount of detail that this camera is able to uh, to capture. Every shot so far has been done in JPEG in um, the Vivid profile, which is um, they recommend for landscapes. It really makes a lot of the colours pop. And um, for this video, I'm not touching them. So they are straight out of camera, not edited in at all. Um, I might edit a few of the JPEGs for Instagram um, over the coming videos. And um, so you can check out my Instagram, Craig Pitts TV, for, for those shots. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to spend another hour or so wandering around, seeing what I can find. And then I'll probably call it a day from the woods because, uh, yeah, it's tricky, it's tough. But um, I'll press on. Alright, the uh, light's starting to fade and uh, it feels like it's about to storm. It's blowing up hell of a storm outside of the woods. Uh, clouds are getting really dark, so I'm hightailing it back home to the studio. I'm gonna get the images on the computer and uh, I'll give you my initial impressions of this uh, Fujifilm GFX 100S. So, um, catch you back at the studio. All right guys, back in the studio, back in the dry and back in the warm. And um, yeah, just give you my first thoughts of this camera then. I mean, I only spent about an hour, a couple of hours with it. And to be fair, the conditions weren't the best. And like I said in the video, I am not a woodland photographer by any stretch of the imagination. So the images in that video aren't really that inspiring to me. But what was inspiring to me was the quality of those uh, image files straight out of camera. So I mentioned that the images you would have seen in the video were JPEG straight from camera, shot with the Velvia Vivid profile, so I haven't done any editing whatsoever on them. And yeah, they, they, they look fantastic straight out of camera, colors look really nice, and I was, yeah, very impressed with the amount of detail um, I could capture on each of those shots. It felt really nice in the hands. Now I have fairly large hands, so sometimes when I'm shooting with my X-T4, it does feel a little bit too small for me. Um, so actually shooting with the GFX 100S was quite nice. Uh, it did feel like a kind of old school DSLR feel. But even though those lenses, the GF lenses are quite bulky, it didn't feel too cumbersome, which was nice. There really isn't too much more I can say about it right now. Like I said, I've only had it for a few hours. Um, and the conditions weren't that great, but tomorrow I'm heading off to Bristol to shoot a bunch of street photography with it, 
and also a bunch of low light night photography. Both of those are gonna form separate videos uh, with a fourth video where I'm gonna kind of go a bit more in depth and give you um, more of my thoughts as I've used the camera over the next day. Um, but I haven't got a great deal of time with it, so it's not gonna be a super in-depth review, but hopefully I can give you some good insights, show you a bunch more uh, images, and um, yeah, let me know what you thought of the shots. And if you're interested, I can include a Google, uh, a link to a Google Drive with the full res images. If you wanna go and actually do some pixel peeping, I can do that. Just let me know in the comments below. But yeah, for, for this video, that's it. Um, I'm off to Bristol tomorrow, like I say, to shoot some more with it. But for this video, thanks very much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Take care.